Hello everyone, this is Ekalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem solve d square y by dx square plus 16y equals to secant 4x. So here we are going to express the 1 by f of d as partial fractions. Okay. Solution. Given differential equation, d square y by dx square plus 16 y equals to secant 4x. So identify the highest derivative here. d square y by dx square is the highest derivative. So our order will be 2 and Highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Okay, highest power of highest derivative is a degree. So here our degree is 1. Now, we'll write this equation in operator form. Since we know that differential operator d equals to d by dx, then the equation becomes d square y. Okay, if d equals to d by dx, then d square equals to d square by dx square. Then you can write d square by dx square as capital D square plus 16 into y equals to secant 4x. Now let's take y common from the two terms of LHS. You'll get d square plus 16 into y equals to secant 4x, which is in operative form. f of d into y equals to q, where f of d equals to d square plus 16 and q equals to secant for x, right? So now we need to find solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to complementary function plus particular integral. We'll find complementary function using the homogeneous equation of this non-homogeneous equation using auxiliary equation f of m equals to 0 and we'll find the particular integral using 1 by f of d into q. Okay, here we are going to express 1 by f of d to partial fractions. Okay, we'll get uh, yc from f of d into y equals to 0. That is homogeneous equation of this non-homogeneous equation. So firstly we will find complementary function. Using auxiliary equation. Okay. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to Replace differential operator d by m in f of d. Then you'll get f of m equals to m square plus 16. Then you'll get auxiliary equation. f of m, m square plus 16 equals to 0. You can find roots in two ways. Okay. First one, write plus 16 to RHS. Just take this to RHS, you will get minus 16. From this, you will get m equals to plus or minus square root of minus 16. Again, you can write minus 16 as minus 1 into 16. You can split this as minus 1 into square root of minus 1 into square root of 16. Since we know that square root of minus 1 is i and square root of 16 is 4 then you'll get plus or minus i into 4 or plus or minus 4 i okay 
again other way. You can write plus 16 as minus of minus 16. Again, split this minus 16 as minus 1 into 60. Since we know that minus 1 equals to i square and 16 equals to 4 square, then you can write minus 1 as i square into 16 as 4 square, right? That is m square minus, you can write i square into 4 square as 4i whole square which is in a squared minus b squared form, you'll get a plus b into a minus b. Now equate each factor to 0. If you equate each factor to 0, you'll get roots. From this, you'll get m equals to minus 4i and here you'll get m equals to 4i, that is m equals to minus 4i plus 4i, that is plus or minus 4i, you can say. Then m equals to plus or minus 4i. Okay. Therefore, m equals to plus or minus 4i are the roots of f of m equals to 0 which are complex conjugate right so you can write m equals to 0 plus or minus 4i or 0 plus 4i and 0 minus 4i right so the conjugate of 0 plus 4i is minus 4i. We'll just change signs for the conjugate, right? And the conjugate of this is, here you're having minus, so you'll get plus. And the roots are complex conjugate. If you have m equals to a plus or minus ib, then you can write complementary function e power ax, c1 cos bx plus c2 sine bx. Okay. In this case, if a is 0, then you'll get y c equals to e power 0 into x into c1 cos bx plus c2 sine bx. Since e power 0 into x is e power 0 which is equal to 1, then you'll get 1 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sine bx, right? So when m equals to plus or minus ib, complementary function is given by c1 cos bx plus c2 sine bx. Then our complementary function will be yc equals to c1 cos 4x. You are having 4 in the place of b. So you will get 4x plus c2 sine 4x. Now we need to find particular integral. given by f of 1 by f of t into q, right? We have f of t equals to d square plus 16 into q, where q is secant 4x. And you have rules m equals to plus or minus 4i, right? So you can write d square plus 16 as d minus 4i 
into d plus 4 i if you want i can show again right plus 16 as minus of minus 60 which is equal to d square minus we can split minus 16 as minus 1 into 16 since we know that minus 1 equals to i square and 16 equals to 4 square then you'll get i square into 4 square which is equal to 4 i whole square right you'll get 4 i whole square which is in a square minus b square form you'll get a plus b into a minus b so you can write f of d as d plus 4i into d minus 4i into secant 4x if you are having the denominator in d minus alpha 1 d minus alpha 2 and so on d minus alpha n form then you can split this fraction into partial fraction so let's express 1 by d plus 4i into d minus 4i into partial fractions One by d plus four i into d minus four i equals to a by both are linear, right? Then you'll get a by d plus four i plus d by d minus four i. From this, you'll get one by d plus four i into d minus four i equals to take the same of d plus four i and d minus four i. In the numerator, you will get a times d minus 4i plus b times d plus 4i. You can cancel the denominator of LHS and RHS. You will get 1 equals to a times d minus 4i plus b times d plus 4i. Now let d minus 4i equals to 0. From this, you will get d equals to 4i. Now replace d by 4i, you'll get 1 equals to a into 4i minus 4i plus b into 4i plus 4i. Since plus 4i minus 4i gets cancelled, so a term becomes 0, then you'll get 1 equals to 4i plus 4i is 8i into b. From this you'll get b equals to Four i plus four i eight i into b. From this, you'll get b equals to one by eight i. Now let d plus four i to zero. From this, you'll get d equals to minus four i. Now replace d by minus four i. Then you'll get 1 equals to a into minus 4i minus 4i plus b into minus 4i plus 4i. Here minus 4i plus 4i gets cancelled so b term becomes 0. Then you'll get 1 equals to minus 4i minus 4i is minus 8i into a. Then you'll get a equals to minus 1 by 8i. Yeah. So you got a, b values. Now, you can substitute AB values in this. Then you'll get minus 1 by 8i into d plus 4i plus b. 1 by 8i into, you can just write in the numerator firstly. So that you won't get confused, right? Which is equal to minus 1 by 8i into d plus 4i plus 1 by 8i into d minus 4i 
you're having 1 by eta in both the terms. So let's take common. Then we'll get 1 by eta into minus 1 by d plus 4i plus 1 by d minus 4i. You can just write this as, firstly write the positive term and the term involving negative sign. So we have resolved the fraction to partial fraction, some a by d minus alpha plus some b by d minus alpha. You can just write this d plus 4i as d minus of minus 4i, right? Where alpha is minus 4i, okay? Which is in this form. Now you can replace in yp, you'll get 1 by 8i into 1 by d minus 4i minus 1 by d plus 4i into secant 4x. Which is equal to 1 by 8i into 1 by d minus 4i into secant 4x minus 1 by d plus 4i into secant 4x. Now we can find each term separately. You can just consider the first one as yp1 and second one as yp2 for our convenience. So let's find firstly 1 by d minus 4i into secant 4x, not i. You can write in form of i theta, i into minus 4x into secant 4x dx. We know that e power i theta equals to cos theta plus i sine theta and e power minus i theta is cos theta minus i sine theta. Then you can write e power i minus theta as cos, better we can just write this as, okay, cos theta minus i sine theta into secant 4x dx. Since we know that secant theta equals to reciprocal of cos theta, then You'll get cos 4x minus i sine 4x into, you can write secant 4x as 1 by cos 4x into dx, right? Now multiply both of the terms with 1 by cos 4x and you'll get e power 4i x into cos 4x into 1 by cos 4x minus i into sin 4x into 1 by cos 4x into dx which is equal to cos 4x gets cancelled and here you can write i sin 4x into 1 by cos 4x as sin 4x by cos 4x which is tan 4x. We'll get e power 4ix integral 1 
minus i into sin 4x by cos 4x into dx which is equal to e power 4 i x integral 1 minus i into sin 4x by cos 4x is tan 4x into dx is equal to 4 i x into integral or 4 i x or integral 1 into dx is dx minus i into integral tan 4x dx. Since we know that integral tan ax dx equals to minus 1 by a log mod cos ax then this becomes e power 4 ix into integral dx is x minus i into integral tan 4x dx for a equals to 4 you will get integral tan 4x dx equals to minus 1 by 4 into log mod cos 4x right then you will get minus i into minus 1 by 4 log mod cos 4x right which is equals to e power 4ix into x minus into minus plus i into 1 by 4 log mod cos 4x. Therefore, 1 by b minus 4i into secant 4x is equals to e power 4ix into x plus i into 1 by 4 log mod cos 4x. So, by replacing i by minus i, you will get 1 by d minus 4 into replace i by minus i equals to e power 4 into minus i into x into x plus replace i by minus i into 1 by 4 log mod cos 4 x which is equals to or this becomes d minus into minus plus 4 i equals to e power minus 4 i x into x plus into minus minus i into 1 by 4 log mod cos 4 x okay or we can just solve this here you will get into secant 4x or you can solve this using the formula 1 by d plus alpha into q equals to e power here you are having minus sorry plus so you will get minus alpha x integral q into here you are having minus alpha x so you will get plus alpha x inside the integral so you can use this to find this one okay or simply by replacing i by minus i in this you will get 1 by d plus 4 into secant 4x value. Right? Or let's find the second part using formula. Let's see what we are going to get. So here we are going to use the formula. For alpha equals to 4 i. And q equals to secant 4 x. Equals to e power. Here you are having plus so you will get minus 4 i x integral q here you are having minus so inside the integral you will get plus 4 i x e power plus 4 i x into d x equals to e power minus 4 i x into e power you can write 
4 ix as i theta form i into sum 4x into secant 4x dx. Since we know that e power i theta equals to cos theta plus i sin theta and also secant theta equals to reciprocal of cos theta then this becomes e power minus 4 i x into cos e power i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta into secant theta can be written as reciprocal of cos theta into dx is equals to this becomes e power minus 4 i x into integral cos 4 x into 1 by cos 4 x is cos 4 x by cos 4 x into dx plus i into integral sin 4 x into 1 by cos 4 x is sin 4 x by cos 4 x into dx cos 4 x gets cancelled and sin 4 x by cos 4 x is tan 4 x so this becomes e power minus 4 i x into integral dx plus i integral tan 4x dx right since we know that integral tan ax dx equals to minus 1 by a log mod cos 4x then for a equals to 4 you'll get integral tan 4x dx equals to minus 1 by 4 log mod cos 4x Then this becomes e power minus 4 i x into integral dx is x plus i into integral tan 4 x dx is minus 1 by 4 log more cos 4 x which is equals to e power minus 4 i x into x plus into minus minus i by 4 log more cos 4 x. So we got the value of the second part. Now coming to the YP. This becomes 1 by 8i into write the value of this or the result obtained from this e power 4ix into x plus i by 4 log more cos 4x minus result obtained from the second one e power minus 4ix into x minus i by 4 into log more cos 4x. Since we know that e power i theta equals to cos theta plus i sin theta and e power minus i theta equals to cos theta minus i sin theta then we can write the above as 1 by 8i into e power 4i x can be written as cos 4 theta equals to 4x we will get cos 4x plus i sin 4x into this one x plus i by 4 log mod cos 4x minus e power minus 4x that is e power i into e power minus i theta i right so e power minus i into 4x can be written as cos 4x minus i sin 4x into x minus i by 4 log mod cos 4x Then yp becomes 1 by 8i into cos 4x into x. x cos 4x cos 4x into second term plus i by 4 into cos 4x log mod cos 4x 
plus i sin 4x into x. We get i x sin 4x plus into plus plus i into i i square i square right plus i square by 4 into sin 4x log mod cos x. log mod cos 4x minus of cos 4x into x x cos 4x cos 4x okay plus into minus minus cos 4x into this one is i by 4 cos 4x into log mod cos 4x Right? Minus into plus, minus i into x sin 4x, minus into minus plus, i into i, i square by 4 into sin 4x, into log more cos 4x. Now replace i square by minus 1. Okay, then you'll get 1 by 8i into x cos 4x plus i by 4 cos 4x log mod cos 4x plus i x sin 4x plus into minus minus 1 by 4 sin 4x log mod cos 4x minus x cos 4x minus into minus plus i by 4 cos 4x log mod cos 4x minus into minus plus i x sin 4x minus into plus minus again minus into minus is plus right or simply minus into minus plus 1 by 4 sin 4x into log mod cos 4x. So here plus 4x minus 4, sorry, plus x cos 4x minus x cos 4x gets cancelled. And minus 1 by 4 sin 4x log mod cos 4x gets cancelled. Then you'll get 1 by 8i into Add these two, you'll get 2i by 4 cos 4x log mod cos 4x. And again, add these two, you'll get 2i x sin 4x. Like terms, right? 2 ones are, 2 twos are. This becomes 1 by 8i into i cos 4x log mod this is 2 right so you'll get into 2 okay by 2 into log mod cos 4x plus 1 by 8i into 2i x sin 4x so here i gets cancelled 2 ones are 2 fours are which is equals to 1 by Write 8 into 2 or better write 16 cos 4x log mod cos 4x plus 1 by 4 x sin 4x. You can take 4 common from these two terms. Write 16 as 4 into 4. It will be easy, right? You get 1 by 4 times cos 4x log mod cos 4x by 4 plus x sin 4x. You can also write this as 1 by 4 into x sin 4x plus cos 4x log mod cos 4x by 4 which is a 
yp so now we can write the general solution the general solution is y equals to yc plus yp we have yc c1 cos 4x plus c2 sin 4x plus yp 1 by 4 into x sin 4x plus cos 4x into log mod cos 4x by 4. So this is a required solution. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.